So what I want to talk about now is the mole balance for a CSTR, which is, is a continuous stirred tank reactor. And this reactor is also called a VAT or a back mix reactor. And so I'll just write that down real quick. CSTR. And a CSTR has a few assumptions. First of all, it assumes that it's perfectly mixed. And it also assumes that it's operated at steady state. So there's no dependence on concentration or te no time dependence on concentration or temperature and stuff like that. So steady state. So then if I write down the general mole balance equation that I derived in a previous video, I'll get this. So this is the general mole balance. So Fj naught minus Fj. So whatever's flowing in minus whatever's flowing out plus what you're generating inside the reactor. <clears throat> okay, I thought something looked weird. <laughs> Uh, D, and then this is what is accumulating inside with time. <clears throat> so looking at this, first of all, we know that since it's steady state, this term is zero because there's no dependence or change. There's no dependence on time. And we also know that there, since it's perfectly mixed, there aren't any spatial variations with the rate. So for instance, it's not, the rate isn't dependent on position. And so then you can pull this out of the integral also. So then you would end up with R J V. <clears throat> so then you can rewrite this equation. So F J naught minus Fj plus Rjb equals zero. And then what we want for this, what we want for this equation is the volume. So we can go ahead and solve for volume. So you end up with V equals Fj naught minus Fj over negative Rj. So this is, the, this is the mole balance for a CSTR. And you can take this a little bit further because a lot of times you solve your problem using the concentration instead of flow. So you can use this, e, this relation, Fj equals Cj multiplied by volume. And <clears throat> or actually this is not volume, this is the volumetric flow rate. <clears throat> so then if you look at these units, you know that Fj is some um, moles per time. You know that Cj is moles per volume because this is a concentration and this is the volume, or this is the flow. So, uh, so anyway, and then this is the volumetric flow rate. So volume over time. So then volume cancels out. So you end up with moles per time. So you can see that this works out. So <clears throat> then you can go ahead and plug this into here. So then you get Volume equals V naught C A naught minus V naught C A over minus R A. So then this is also the mole balance for uh, CSTR. 